Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bebo. In this video, we're going to take a look at solving problems that involve tax. So our main goal for this video is how do I solve ratio and percent problems involving taxes? Reminding ourselves on the vocab, tax is an amount of money that is added to the price of certain goods and services. It is typically calculated as a percentage of the cost of the item. Common forms of tax include sales tax, income tax, property tax, and hotel tax. Sales tax, again, is a specific type of tax. It is a state or local tax that is, again, added to the price of an item or service, and it varies depending on the city or state in which you live. So for in Michigan, we have a 6% sales tax, but that's not true everywhere. Um, and then and also in some cities, there is a city tax that gets added, added on as well. So tax is something that you're very much going to deal with in the real world, which is why I love this uh, lesson so much for my students, because it very much, again, relates to real life. So let's take a look at our first example. So you can see already on the screen, um, at the bottom here I have my percent equation already written out. I also have my percent proportion written out. Those are the two uh, forms that we can use to solve these questions. I'm also going to show you a shortcut in how you can actually solve these in one step, which is a really nice shortcut to know. But first I'll show you how to solve them in two steps using both the equation and a proportion before I show you how to solve it in one step. All right, so in example one, it says Carrie wants to buy sports equipment that costs $140. The sales tax in her city is five and 75 hundredths percent. What is the total cost of the equipment? So first what we're going to do, we're gonna again solve this in two steps. We're going to figure out the actual amount of tax that is being added on to her purchase cost. So we're gonna figure out what is five and 75 hundredths percent of 140. If I'm going to use the equation, remember the percent is entered in as a uh, decimal. And in this case right now we have the percent form, so we gotta change it to our, our, our uh, decimal by dividing it by 100. And so the decimal form is 0 0.0575, so 575 ten thousandths. And then we're multiplying that by the cost. So W in these cases is your, your price before tax, right? That's your original starting value before tax was added on. That is W in all of these cases. So now when I multiply that out, I'm gonna find that the amount of tax that's being added on is $8.05. If I were to set up the proportion, we're gonna do something very similar, except for you don't have to worry about changing that percent into its decimal form. We can actually just keep it as a percent. So you're going to have A over 140 equals five and 75 hundredths um, over 100. We would do our cross products. So we're gonna do 100 times A, 140 times five and 75 hundredths. So if we do five and 75 hundredths times 140, that is going to end up being 805. 100 times A is just our 100A. And then last step is to divide both sides by 100. And then you're gonna see that we end up with the same solution of $8.05. Again, that is not my final answer because again, tax is being added on to your starting value. So my final answer I'm going to get by doing $140 plus the $8 and five cents. And so I find out that my final cost is $148 and five cents. Okay, so that, that is a great strategy to solve these questions, right? Find out the amount of tax that you're paying and then add it on to the original cost. You can also solve this in one step. So you know already, if I take a look even at my math that I have written out here, you're paying 100% of the value, right? You're paying the $140, that's the 100% amount. You're also paying this additional five and 75 hundredths percent. So to find out your answer in one step, we actually can combine these two percentages so 105 and 75 hundredths percent, because again, that's how much you're paying. You're paying the $140 plus that additional percentage. If we take that percent and plug it into the equation or plug it into the proportion, you're gonna get that $148.05 immediately. So if I just quickly write out my equation, because that's gonna be the quickest option, if I change this percentage into a decimal, we're going to have one and uh, is 1.057, oops, 
1.75. Let me actually write that correctly. So 1 and 575 ten thousandths. And then we're going to multiply that by still our W, so 140. And then when I multiply this out, you are going to find $148.05 right away. So if you can get that shortcut down of the fact that you're paying 100% of that price plus the additional markup amount, the tax amount, you can solve all these problems in one step. Really nice shortcut to know. All right, so go, let's go ahead and take a look at example two. Again, I have my equation and my proportion set up on this one. Again, you can solve this in two steps or you can solve it in one. I'm gonna do this both ways. So I'm gonna use the equation where I'll actually solve it in one step and then I'll demonstrate using the proportion and we'll use the proportion to solve this in two steps. So essentially we'll find out how much the actual tax is and then add that on to my initial cost. So Ryan wants to buy a sweatshirt that costs $42.99. The sales tax rate in his city is 7.5%. What is the total cost for the sweatshirt? We're going to round our answer to the nearest cent, which is to the nearest hundredths place. Now, students get thrown off by this right here because they see that fraction and then they're like, what? Again, half, you know the decimal equivalency or you should know. So this is just 7 and 5 tenths percent. Okay, so don't let that fraction throw you off. It's just, just rewrite it in its decimal form or with the decimal point, I should say. We do have to rewrite it in its decimal form when we do the equation though. Now to do the equation, I'm going to do this in one step and get our final answer right away. So again, knowing that tax is being added on, I know that I'm paying this price, right? This 100% amount, $42.99, I'm paying that price plus whatever the seven and a half percent amount is. So I'm paying a total of 107 and a half percent of my original value, which is 42.99. So I'm going to use the equation using this 107 and a half percent as my percent value. So I'm gonna have A is equal to, again, if I rewrite that as a decimal, so it'll be one and 75 thousandths, multiply that by 42 and 99 uh, hundredths, so $42.99. We're gonna get an answer of approximately uh, $46.21 after I rounded. So this right here, final answer, because I've already included tax in my percentage that I used in my calculation. So $46.21 is my total cost for the sweatshirt after tax. Now for the proportion, I'll demonstrate how we set this up again using two steps. So let's say we're like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm really getting that trick where I add on that percentage to 100, right? That's fine. We can still solve these problems in two steps. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and do our, our well, we got to set it up first. So A is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the amount of tax that relates to the 7.5%. And that is based on my original price of $42.99. To solve a proportion, again, we do our cross products. So we'll do 100 times A. We'll do 42 and 99 hundredths times seven and a half. 100 times A is going to be 100 A. Seven and a half times 42 and 99 hundredths is going to be 322 and 425 thousandths. And then we're going to divide both sides by 100. And so when I divide this by 100, we end up with $3.22 approximately. So I should have actually done my squiggly approximately uh, equal to sign there. So $3.22, again, not the final answer, because again, that is just the amount of tax that is being added on to my original price. So we still have one more stop, which is to take 42 uh, and 9900 so forty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents, and we're going to add that to three dollars and twenty-two cents. So if I do three dollars and twenty-two cents plus forty-two ninety-nine, you get your answer of forty-six dollars and twenty-one cents. Okay, so same answer, just a little bit longer of a process to get to it. Not a big deal. So. That's going to be it for this video. I am going to have a part two to this where I'll actually go through a couple more examples um, dealing with hotel tax, but it's going to be the same kind of idea because again, tax gets added on. So check that out if you need more help with tax percent problems. 
Thanks for watching.